Concept 24 is uh, counting and combinatorics. So here we're either going to use combinations or we're going to use uh, permutations. So here it's important to be able to read the problem and know well which of those is it. So 15 people are running for president of the Shady Meadows Retirement Community. The winner will be president and the runner-up will be vice president. So we have two different positions that are being taken. How many ways can the election be decided? So here we do have an order. The first person or the, the top winner will be president, the runner-up will be vice president. So we can make a decision chart here. There are 15 different people who could become the president. That means there's only 14 different people who could become vice president. So multiplying those together, there's 105 different ways the election could be decided. Now 15 people are running for seats on the Shady Mini's Retirement Community Council. Two people will be randomly selected. How many ways can the council be chosen? Oh, whoops, 15 times 14, this is actually 210. Okay, um, so here, two people will be selected, but there's no order. There aren't two separate positions being filled. They're just choosing two people. So here we are going to use combinations. The combinations formula, we take the total number of people factorial, the size of the group is 2, and then we take the difference between the total and the size of the group. So this would be 15 factorial over 2 factorial, 13 factorial. 15 times 14 times 13, and I'm going to just leave the factorial here instead of writing all those out. And then on the denominator, we have two factorial as well. So these cancel out 15 times 14, and then divide that by 2. This will give you 105 different ways. All right, eight people are available to fill four empty rooms in the Shady Meadows Retirement Community. Only three people are vying for the first room. Six people are vying for the second room. Any of the remaining people can fill the remaining two rooms. So we do have an order here. Each room needs to be decided, and there are four rooms. It tells you only three people are vying for the first room. So there's only three choices here. Six people are vying for the second room. There's only six choices here. Any of the remaining people, keyword here, remaining people, if these two rooms have been decided, out of the total of eight people, if two people have already chosen, there are six people left that could be in this next room. So I'm going to put six choices. Three rooms have been taken. Out of a total of eight people, there are still five people left that can choose this room. So if we multiply those all together, this would give you 540 different ways of assigning the rooms. And number 18, lunch in the Shady Meadows cafeteria consists of eight types of sandwiches, three types of salad, five types of vegetables, four types of dessert, seven types of beverage. The diner is allowed to choose one of each. So we have choices to make. We have one, two, three, four, five different things to choose. And there are this many ways to choose each one. So 8, 3, 5, 4, and 7. Multiplying that all together, we get 3,360.